What you got there, Stewie? Ooh, mustache aficionado. Wow, look at these men. What class, what grace. And all because of a little upper lip hair. What says manliness more than a mustache? What was once the journey into manhood included the mustache. That was part of your initiation into manhood. Remember the guys in high school that could grow one in 10th, 11th grade? We always looked up to them. So what happened? Is the mustache facing extinction? Can it make a comeback? Has our generation just flat out forgotten what the, forgotten about the mustache? Well, I'm setting out on a journey, a 30 day journey into the world of the forgotten mustache. Today I shaved and this is day one of my 30 days into mustache uh, I'm growing the classic lip to lip and I don't know how it's going to turn out. Could be a little cheesy, could fill in nicely. I don't know what to expect. But what I do know is uh, I'm going to document the highs and lows of wearing a mustache in 2008. So can I make a difference in bringing the mustache back? I don't know. Is it going to be hard? Probably. But there's some things a man has got to do in his life. And one of those things is growing a mustache. So with that, let's set out on my journey. And I hope you follow along. Thank you. I think most guys look better without a mustache, but I guess if you're a used car manager that looks like Steve, it would be all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I don't think guys look good with a mustache. My mom has always said you never trust a man with a mustache. Um, so, no, they don't. I would never want to kiss one. Do I think guys look good in mustaches? Pride depends on the man and if they take good care of it. Um, no. Unless they have a cleft palate and they need to cover it up with a mustache. I think that a man can look good in a well-trimmed mustache, but it depends on the man and it has to be tidy. Well, I'll have to admit that I don't want my husband wearing a mustache. And in general, no, I don't really think guys look good in mustaches. Not like it was in the 70s when the hair was long. I think that it's probably going to be out of style for the most part. All right. The younger, the more mustache you have, I think the older you look. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope the mustache never makes a comeback because I get mine waxed all the time. But um, no, for real, I really hope it never makes a comeback. They're disgusting and gross. And do I think mustaches can come back? I hope not, because it's pretty nasty. Goatees are in, mustaches out. Um, no. I don't think it'll happen until um, Janelle has a fourth child. Yeah, I think the mustache could make a comeback, maybe. But we need some big stars to wear them. And as far as mustaches coming back, I sure hope not. <laughs> I think that if bell bottoms can make a comeback, then mustaches can make a comeback. Peter, don't you think you're kind of letting that mustache consume your personality? Shut up, Brian. I am part of a very special community now. People with mustaches look out for each other. Hey. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, Jeffrey, Peter Griffin has a mustache. No way. Way. Oh, oh no. Come on, boys, come on.
Everybody takes the money. Never is an office a little uncomfortable. Yeah, there he is. Check that gravy with that biscuit. There you go, baby. Take it. No, he dropped it. Go to first. Yes. Good job. Good job. Well, uh, update on the mustache. This is day 15. Uh, as you can see, the mustache is coming in pretty good. You know, I'm I'm, I'm happy with how it's coming in. Uh, but uh, just a couple updates, pros and cons. There's definitely more cons than having a mustache. Um, a couple things I'm finding out is uh, one is, um, you know, I, I feel a lot tougher with it. You know, I'm always angry. I'm wanting to fight people and stuff. And I, I think it. I mean, it's entirely. I was never like that. So it's definitely attributed to the mustache. Um, I don't know, the guys at work looked up the Spanish name for Steve and it's Esteban, so my new nickname at work is Esteban. You know, there's little things like that I gotta deal with. My wife, of course, hates it. Um, uh, but I do find that older men, older women, love the stash. I mean, they think it's good, you know. Older women think it's manly, you know, and things like that. Uh, younger women and young guys are just brutal. You know, they just don't like it. Um, uh, so, so far, that's my overall impression. You know, like I said, it's only been a couple of weeks. Uh, uh, another thing is, you know, it's become a separate entity. It's become a whole different part of me. It's not like Steve anymore. It's Steve and his stash. You know, it's a separate. I refer to it. It's, you know, hey, hey, it's uh, me and my mustache. You know, I use, uh, use terms to... Uh, uh, describe it as such but that's that's just how it is it's become a whole taken on a whole life of its own uh, um, I got another couple you know 15 days to go um, but as you can see I hope this shows you pretty good uh, the stash is uh, it, it's official I have a mustache you know there's no denying it the first week there's a little stubble people are wondering eh, what's he doing there there's a little different he hasn't shaved or something but now you know there's no denying it I have a mustache so um, this is just my quick update, so hope, uh, hopefully uh, um, it's either encouragement or deterrent to you, so uh, uh, thank you. Wow, Dad, you're up early. Yep, it's a mustache kind of morning, Chris. I watch the sunrise in my jeans, jean shirt, and jean jacket. Gosh, mustache culture is pretty cool. You betcha, son. Okay, well we're here in the store today and I wanted to show you guys a couple ways to accessorize with a mustache. Um, of course be, uh, besides the normal jean jacket, chaps, cowboy boots, things like that, I wanted to show you some. One of the necessary things with a mustache are of course aviators. Aviators uh, are given with a mustache, but there's a couple other things I want to show you. Anything with a chain with a wallet large buck belt, belt buckles are definitely in. Tons and tons of white t-shirts. The work boot. And last but not least, any vest will work. Preferably black with a white t-shirt. Big belt buckle. So, with that, I just want to give you a few ideas on how to accessorize with the mustache.
Boy, you know, I've always wanted to come in here. And now that I got a mustache, the timing feels right. Wow, all this stuff looks pretty good. Uh, can we get some salami and... Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Ah, uh, scusi. Baba de boopy. Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Baba de boopy. Baba de boopy. Baba de baba de. Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. Boopy de baba. Boopy baby baby boopy baba baby baby baba. Tu sei un pazzo. Va bene da qui. Boopy baby baba. Sono stanco di te. Non puoi fare questa. Tu giro con questa cara. This is barber shop downtown where I get my hair cut. And I'm going to go in for my first and only and last mustache trim and haircut. So let's go on in and make it happen. Can you say anything before you or you would just go right in front of Are you on now? Yeah, go ahead and take it out of here. She didn't notice for like a half hour. Mustache comes great responsibility. made it through my journey and uh, um, it has been overall it's been pretty fun uh, definitely a learning experience and uh, I learned a lot and it and like I said it was it was pretty fun I mean there was probably like 20 30 times I wanted to shave this thing off but you know I made it I made it and uh, throughout the whole thing pretty much the last 30 days this mustache has consumed my life from work to to play to every play, part of my life uh it's been a topic of conversation it is uh you know i've seen ran into people i haven't seen for a long time and the first thing they ask me is about my mustache so it, there's been times like that that have been fun and uh 
but uh, I wanted to share a couple more clips with you now that I have um, and and you can look at them and, and hopefully there's some funny stuff in here and I wanted to I have a lot of film so I, I uh, documented a lot of uh, this journey so I'm gonna throw uh, a couple clips in here so I uh, hope you enjoy them What do you got? Look at that. That's Facebook page. Want to give me a kiss, sweetie? Come on, come on. Kiss me with my mustache. Come here. <laughs> Another one. Not, not if you're mean yep. about it. Here. You gonna be nice? Yeah. <laughs> you like kissing me with my mustache? Huh? I like kissing you better with that one. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do a mustache kiss, everyone. <laughs> what? Whoop! Abby's mustache fell off. <laughs> I take it off. Mustache. Oh, okay, we're all done. All right, I'm having a late night snack here tonight, and. Uh, one thing uh, that I've heard before is mustache referred to as the flavor saver, and I never understood that till now. And if you can get a good look, I'm eating some pretzels and dip, and as you'll notice, a little bit of it got on my mustache. Now others jokingly have said before that it's a snack for later, but I'm going to lick it off now. Well, that's a pretty good snack. Now I understand where the term flavor saver came from. But I want you to also notice um, I'm wearing a uh, USA shirt, which anything patriotic theme also goes good with a mustache. And as you can see, it has no sleeves, which is automatically uh, most of your shirts you wear with a mustache are sleeveless. So just a little something I wanted to share with you. And uh, that's it. Okay, we're back now. I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, but as you can see, growing a mustache, you learn, uh, you know, you learn a lot about the mustache. You know, one time I got a piece of bubble gum out of the gumball machine. I blew a bubble and, you know, spent the next 10 minutes getting it out of my mustache. So you learn real quick not to blow bubbles with a mustache. But there's a lot of upkeep into having a mustache. But I would say the overall thing I learned is the mustache is a dying breed. Um... You don't see very many young men with mustaches anymore. You see goatees, you see the sideburns. I even threw in some sideburns myself to, to spice up the mustache a little bit. But you really don't see uh, the mustache all by itself on young men anymore. And uh, that's too bad because it takes a certain kind of man to wear a stash. I mean, it really does. I've learned that. You know, you got to have, you got to be very uh, confident. And wearing a mustache, you know, it, it's it is, it's a tough thing to do. And uh, I challenge anybody to grow a mustache for 30 days, and see how easy it was. Someone who has never had one, not someone who had one and shaved it off, but someone who who has never had a mustache and grow one for 30 days. It is it's challenging. Uh, it's exciting and challenging. But uh, uh, I want to thank you for following along and uh, just wanted to give my final take on the mustache uh, uh, but uh, the mustache definitely gets blamed for everything that goes wrong and gets the credit for everything that does good so <laughs> uh, there's good and bad so but thank you for following along and, and God bless you <laughs>